So Man of Steel just came out on Blu-ray today, so I got it, and we're going to do an unboxing for it. Now, usually, uh, when I do unboxings, I have the thing opened ready. There's no cellophane, but today, I didn't open it yet. I uh, literally just got back from the Walmart where I got it, so I didn't take any cellophane off, so we're all going to watch me do this live and my reactions to what's going on here. So, uh, But looking at it, uh, Man of Steel, yeah, the title is embossed. That's pretty nice. Superman and, and his little flowing thing whatever this white thing is, that's embossed too. Call me an idiot, but I'm not sure what that's called. Uh, you know, the cast got Henry Cavill, Amy Adams, Michael Shannon, Kevin Costner, Diane Lane, Lawrence Fishburne, and Russell Crowe. Uh, my favorite addition to the film is Russell Crowe uh, as Superman's father. And on the spine, Man of Steel is also embossed, and you got a nice red and black coloring, which I really like when they put, like, designs on, on, the, on the spine. I think that they really did a good job with that. And Warner Brothers doesn't usually you know, do good with their Blu-ray cases, to tell you the truth. I mean, some of them are good, but this one I'm really impressed with so far. Uh, you got nearly four hours of special features. You've got the journey of discovery, creating Man of Steel, which is the making, and all-out action, which is uh, taking su superhero action to spectacular heights of realism, I guess is how they made the action in the film. Planet Krypton, you get to go on Krypton, and the makers are going to talk about it, and much more. Uh, obviously, yeah, that's... Those little three featurettes aren't going to be four hours, but uh, yeah, you got a whole bunch of uh, special features on this. 7.1 audio, so that's that's pretty good. 7.1 HD surround sound. It's rated PG-13. It is two hours and 23 minutes. Uh, when I did see this movie in the theater, I saw it twice. The first time I saw it, uh, I think I was being too hard with it, to tell you the truth. I was, I was criticizing it too much, and I do feel bad for that. So when I saw it again, uh, I realized, you know, this is not that bad of a movie. I just think that they could have handled the character structure uh, a little better with this. So opening it up, we get the same artwork. You know, I think that's, uh, it's actually pretty nice. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, Blu-ray cases of the year. I can't tell you it's one of my favorite Blu-rays, but uh, I do like the, uh, the, the slip cover. Now, here we go. We're going to get the box cutter. Last time I used a box cutter, it didn't end well. So I got to be uh, kind of careful with this thing, and I don't want to ruin anything. So here we go. Opening it up. So opening this up, we got the digital copy code, which I will give in a minute. We have a Blu-ray of Man of Steel, and uh, that's pretty interesting. The second disc of the Blu-ray, I guess there's two discs, and Look what they did. I I really don't like it when they when they pile discs on top of each other. Now I don't know. Call me weird, but the DVD gets its own side for me. So I'm putting the special features Blu-ray on bottom and the movie on top. And I'm putting the DVD over here. But I don't like how they stack the discs. I mean, I'm not a fan why they do that, but they did put really nice artwork on the discs. I'm really pleased with this Blu-ray so far. I mean, it's it's uh, really pleasing. And here, you get a booklet of coupons or something. Oh, they, they have, like, merchandise. This is really nice that they give you something like this. They usually do it for Harry Potter, but seeing that's done now, uh, they're, they're, they did it for Man of Steel. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to get any of this stuff, but you can get some really nice things. Uh, I'll look into that more later. And the digital copy code. Here is the code for Man of Steel. Three easy steps, as it always says on every single digital copy code. Use it to the best of your advantage. I won't be using it, so if you use it and it works and you get something, congratulations. You know, I, I hope, you, uh, hope you get something. I hope it works. And, uh, yeah, there's your digital copy code. Well, listen, guys, the next Blu-ray unboxing I'm going to have, you're going to probably not like this, but it's not going to be until uh, December 10th. That'll be the new Blu-ray unboxing for Fast and Furious 6. Uh, yeah, I know it's a long ways away, but films such as This is the End, Pacific Rim, Where the Millers, The World's End, maybe some other movies mixed in with there, but those new releases, I, you didn't see a Blu-ray unboxing for those, and you won't because those are films that I will be getting for Christmas. So, like, probably the day after Christmas, like the 26th, you are going to get a Blu-ray unboxing, or a, a Blu-ray... A Blu-ray update, you're going to get a Disney Infinity update, which is where I'm getting all these new characters uh, as Christmas gifts, obviously, so we got to wait for that. 
Uh, you're going to get a top 10 films of 2013, top 10 worst films of 2013, and you will be getting top 10 Blu-rays of 2013. That's five videos guaranteed for the end of the year. Also, you're going to be getting the Secret Life of Walter Mitty review, the Wolf of Wall Street review, you know, Saving Mr. Banks, Anchorman 2. All this stuff is coming to the channel. I'm, and, I mean, since this is the last Blu-ray unboxing of November, it doesn't mean it's the last video. We're still going to have, you know, the Hunger Games review. That's right, I'm reviewing the first one, then I'm reviewing the Hunger Games Catching Fire when it's released. I'm going to review Frozen. So yeah, you got a whole bunch of stuff coming on the channel in future days, so subscribe so you can catch all that. So guys, once again, thanks for watching this Blu-ray unboxing for Man of Steel. I hope you subscribe, comment, tell me, are you excited for Batman versus Superman? What do you think? Are you happy that Ben Affleck was cast? Do you think Christian Bale should return? I personally like Bale. Bale's my favorite Batman, but you never know. Bat uh, ben Affleck might surprise us. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Over and out.